Hey guys. Let's, Hello, uh, welcome uh, back to another episode of God of War. We are your hosts, Jude Gear and Vagabond. And today we have just discovered um, Helheim. Yep. That's the certain location we are just to be able to get the secret ingredient just to get our boy back in good shape. Yeah. Our boy. Boy! Get my Bobby back! And we're using our dual plates to be able to get out of this fucking situation. And, uh... Now, since we're going to be making this quick, we might as well do it fast enough. Yeah, so, I've been testing Skullgirls on the PS5. Works pretty well. And I might record a DLC for any of the stars for on the channel. When that drops around May. What's up? Um, they're playing on recording Squirrel Girls for the channel. Oh, okay. That's cool. See, I'm, I'm just testing it on the PS5 to see how it runs. It runs pretty well for um, 1080p. Silky, silky smooth 60 FPS? Yep, that's silky smooth FPS. And it looks not like a spicy mate, but it's so good. Mm hmm. Yeah. And since the test is going on well, what else did you do with it? I tried, I tried recording Don Kill a Kill for PS4, and sadly I can barely record anything on it due to the fact that game game doesn't want you to record any cutscene or anything else besides gameplay footage. So, yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else that you've tested? Um, Sakura Wars works just fine on there. Hmm. Anything else? Um, I'm planning on doing Royal tonight. I'm going to play through the first few hours of it and see how well it records on 60 frames per second. It's on a 5 Royal? Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Mm. Well, there are a lot of things we could test on the PlayStation 5 while we're at it. Mm-hmm. What? Mm. If it gets to a point where a game might be able to work, then then we might be able to count that as a good success. Yeah, um, let's see, I think after Persona 5, I will finally test out Final Fantasy 7 Remake, see how that runs. I, I think, isn't the update up today, or is it up in May? I believe it might be around today or something, I'm not sure. What is that? What update are you guys talking about? I think they're supposed to upgrade the graphics for Final Fantasy Re some remake. Is, is that the integrate thing or no? I, is that different? I, so, is it integrate I, think, I think it's before the integrate drops. Alrighty, alrighty. Hmm. Well, this guy's really difficult to take down. Yeah, just hit him behind the shield. It's difficult though. However, I have an idea. Can you just throw your axe at his face? Yeah, I didn't think of that. Oh. Except that was a waste. Okay, this okay, this goober shouldn't be this hard to defeat. <laughs> we have any other weapons that can hit. Well, we like don't. fire weapons. Fire weapons. You know what? He ain't worth it. What is that enemy, anyway? It looks like the one of the Frost Giants from 4. 
of the shield. Thor's got frost giants. What were they called? I thought frostbites. Oh, uh, Well, there's Lofty from Thor from the first movie. Something like that. Frost Giants. Thor. Yeah, Frost Giants were in Thor 1. Okay, it is coming in June with the um, Intergroup. The Final Fantasy game? Yeah, the update for fixing all like the background graphics as well. Well, if it's doing that, it pretty much means it's going to be grand. Uh, well, well, I can wait until June. June is not that far from now. No, it's but not that far. On um, the Final Fantasy update. Thing great. Oh. Yeah. I wonder what's gonna happen in June, you know? No idea. Uh, what, I think, um, what, what come, what's coming out in June, um, besides Final Fantasy? I think the Ratchet and Clank game is supposed to come out in June. Yeah, that game. I don't know what else might be coming out in June. Mm. Well, we know in July there's the Neo War Ends With You game coming out. Oh yeah, that's coming out too. Hmm. If there's anything else that might be coming up, I think it's on the news release date. It's speaking of that, I'm gonna check Wario's Twitter account and see if there's any like sales. Wario has a has a Twitter account. Um, he goes by Wario sixty four. Oh, Wario sixty four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anything new? Mm. Nothing really new other than the Monster, Monster Hunter Switch. Actually, actually, there is some news. Yesterday, there was a rumor. Hold on, actually, let me, let me pull it up real quick. You, you probably heard of this. But there's actually a rumor that uh, Sonic Colors is actually coming for, coming to Switch. Oh, the really? Only, the, only, the only proof of this is a bunch of people on Twitter are saying that Sonic Colors has been listed for Switch. Um, oh, I gotta look at this. So it is rumored for coming into modern consoles. If that's the case, that is wonderful. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful, because it was stuck on the Wii for the longest time, and the only way to actually play it without a Wii is through an emulator, through like you know the Dolphin emulator. So, on top of that, there's this like entire section, this entire era of Sonic games that just are stuck on their their home consoles, like like Sonic Heroes, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, Sonic Unleashed. It's all Sonic Colors. So I'm like. Exactly. Sonic Unleashed did get a PC port. Yeah, it did. But Sonic, Sonic Unleashed has a PC port? Since when? I think it was. It's called... Wait, let me look it up. What? I wasn't I aware of that. I mean, Sonic Heroes technically has a PC port. But that was like... I think it was only released in Europe, and there's no, there's no way to get it nowadays except for, like, pirating. Now, that pirating stuff isn't exactly a good thing to say. I mean, in the in the uh, my my belief is with with piracy is one of the reasons why people do it is because there's like there's like no way to to 
play certain games otherwise. You know, you know, like the Mario 64 3D 3D All Stars Collection. Yeah, what about it? As of right now, that was the only way, the only way, the, the only legal way of playing Galaxy, Sunshine, and 64 nowadays without without having to emulate or or pirate the console or anything like that. Mm. So, and the Nintendo just released that in like a limited release format, and in like like poor. In like in like like this this standard poor quality that they could have done a lot better. So like, yeah, they, they uh, I think part of it is a distribution, a, a distribution issue. You know. Yeah, but okay. Um, first things. Um, yeah, there is no unleashed PC port. I think I, I think I confused it with the generations one. Um, here's the thing, like. With Sega, they got Christian Whitehead to remake some of the Sonic games that they had in the past. That, you well, know, like Sonic CD, CD, Sonic Two. And they Sonic gave one, them, yeah. yeah, they gave them all free control, and they're one of the best ports of those games you can actually get. Well, actually, I think technically it isn't actually a port. That's actually they rebuilt it from the ground up. At least that's my knowledge. So I'm su surprised Nintendo hasn't even. Hired people that you know had worked on some of those Mario games before, like for fun, and made it from the ground up at this point. Yeah, they should totally do that for uh, for for some of their their older games. You know. Yeah, especially um, there there was a guy. I remember me and Justin were waiting at for the PS5 in line. Some guy was showing us a like a hack switch with a um, emulated Mario Sunshine. Can't believe he said something like that, huh? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, video games and distributions. Um, video games and distribution have not exactly been the best, uh, not exactly had the best um, relationship, you know? Yeah, I, I think mostly people were angry at Nintendo for, that, for what they did with Mario, because one, Nintendo... You cannot say Nintendo doesn't have the might to distribute most of these games. Yeah, they're Japan's richest company. I know. So, like, when people claim, like, oh, people are just whining about it. Like, no, they, they have a good reason to be whining about it, because Nintendo's not some small company. They're, they're, they're pretty large. And especially mm -hmm. Mario's are money makers, so there would be no point of just letting the game still thrive in the wild. For years to come. Mm. Four years mm -hmm. to come, eh? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, what's that thing? It's the monster that Freya mentioned about getting its heart. Uh, so we gotta reach for his heart and rip it out? Precisely. Seems legit. Well, I face monsters like that. I did die from one of them. Or maybe I haven't. I'm not sure. You played the game, so you... You're yeah. supposed to be the god of God of War. Yes, and I am. Here you are, dying in one hit to, like, a... Uh, what is this? A, a giant... I don't, I don't see the head. Uh, the head's a... Where'd this go? giant Goliath. Oh, there's a head right there. What is that? An, an ogre? An orc? A minotaur? It's Is actually. That's supposed to be the minotaur? A Mudga Helsing. I don't know what that is. Oh, look at the title. I will look, it, I'll look that up. Helsing. Helsing, indeed. Oh, that's place. It's called. It looks like it's called a Matagor Helsing. Matagor. Let's see what you're all about. Although it's a God of War enemy, there's no mythological thing about it. He was born, born in Rise on Hel Helheim, 
and eventually beginning to appoint as the keeper of the bridge of the damned, ensuring all entities crosses the bridge are dead. So yeah, you just basically make sure everybody that dies crosses this bridge. Basically a gatekeeper. Yep, gatekeeper of the dead. Well, that's one interpreted way to say that. Now all I gotta do is keep dodging this thing and now be simple as hell. Pretty much, yeah, you're just smacking his butt a bunch till it falls off. Unless I don't get hit by one of those spheres. So, how far we have left to go for God of War, exactly? It's been about a lot of months, I think. A lot. We have a lot of months left. Of no, months no, 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 my mistake. Like... Just a single month. Just a single month. Okay. I, we start from the beginning about a few months ago, remember? Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I'm just curious, are we close to endgame or we're halfway there? I believe halfway. So you have many more months to go for this game. Great. Well, I, well, that's true and all, but we're not exactly sure at this point, are we? I thought you. I thought you. I thought you were the god of God of War. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we talked about this earlier. We thought you finished this game. Yeah, I did. So, so you don't know what what part we're on. I do remember. Wait, wait, wait. I do remember. I did tell you the part where we tried to get the boy to be healed and all, didn't I? No, I don't recall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at this point, I think. We're pretty much at the point where we're healing the boy. And? And we might be getting close soon enough just to be able to take down the final boss. Okay. What so is the final boss anyway? Are you, are you facing down Thor himself? Nope. You're facing down, you're facing down Odin? I believe you asked, I believe you said I did complete the game, and yes, and I don't want to spoil it, although it's actually been spoiled, but you remember that bearded guy? Oh, the, the guy with the head? Oh, he's the, oh, that was Odin the entire time? No. Oh, shit. That's not I Odin. Take down Thor and get to he? ostracize yes. Odin. I believe his name is Baldur. Baldur? Crazy. Oh, from Baldur's Gate? Oh my god, I love Dungeons and Dragons! Wow, man, that's so cool! Um, I'm in the South America. Norse god. North mythology. Okay. Oh, here we go. Boulder, the old Norse boulder. In Norse mythology, the ah. son of the chief Odin, god of Odin, and his wife, Brigitte. So, he's just a. a he's another son of Odin! Yep, you can say that. So, so we are we are basically uh, killing off the the Norse mythology, the Norse gods now. Yeah, Next, we're going to move on to the Roman gods, and then we're going to we're going to move on to the uh, to the to the the Hindu gods, and then we're going to move on to the um, let's see what else is there the Native American gods. Then the South American gods? So there's no god left. So we, the god of war, are the god. Mm-hmm. 
but not until after we take down the Antarctica Antarctica gods. They just Antarctica. Like like a like a, a Pippi the Penguin and uh, and uh, John the Polar. You know, you know, I'm just that curious to look this up. <laughs> Antarctic gods to Google. I, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It was actually. Oh wait, no, there actually is a Pippi the Penguin. What? <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, okay, okay. He he wasn't at here. Okay, so he's not actually a god, but um, he's an animatronic penguin who stayed during the dining area during the day. During the the day, Pippi acted as a scripted audience member for the gang. As of now, Pippi is dead. Pippi the god. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, but but Pippi the <laughs> Pippi the penguin, the Antarctica god, he's he's dead. He's killed by uh, Wilfred the Wolf. And uh, don't forget about Poncho the Polar Bear. This is the epic tale. Yeah, the, the Antarctic god of, of polar bears. And now we see a bloody way of killing this thing. Oh wow, that's so graphic. Look at all the hyper-realistic blood and gore everywhere. I can literally see his insides. Is that a stomach? Ew! Ew, guts. Disgusting as hell. Do, 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 we have it. Do, 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 we have it. Guts! Do, 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 do. Guts! You, you remember the old Guts TV show they used to show when I go, Nick? Yeah, I remember. Where you had those kids climbing up, like, the aggro track. Ugh. Yeah. He's wondering what skinning a fish feels like. That's how it feels. Very messy. Uh huh. Now that we got the heart, I say we wrap this part. It's nice and shiny. Yes, indeedy. Now we're off to kill Pippi the Penguin and Poncho the Polar Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, God of War, and Arctic Penguins will die. See you Next soon. time, on God of War, Kratos goes to Antarctica to fight off every single living god there. See you next time in Antarctic Acclamation! <laughs> Ah, the great god Zeus. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you saw that video I sent you with Adachi thing, right? Yeah, a Tohru Adachi, Sympathy for a Killer. What yeah. about it? Yeah, I don't feel sympathy for Adachi. <laughs> I don't feel sympathy yeah, for him. The guy, the guy kind of used supporting data it was a little all over the place, at least from yeah, what uh, I saw. <laughs> Yep. Now we're saving the game, buddies. Oh yeah, saving the game. Okay, guys, time to do the ritual where we save the game. We're going to save the game once, save the game twice, let the auto save handle it, then save the game a third time, and then we're going to quit the game, and then get anxiety five seconds later that we may not have saved the game. And then the video, and then the video footage gets corrupted. <laughs> Oops. Oops again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, photo. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright. Wait, what are you trying to do? I think Kratos is posting to Twitter. Hashtag get my son back. <laughs> what the heck is that? What is this? It's like it's like it's close. What the hell? I did not know you could do that. Oh, <laughs> it looks like he's got like, like buck teeth, and, and he has and he and he uses that like toothpaste or, or Listerine something. Ah. It's all the black. <laughs> that, that last one looked like he had some bad chicken. The other night. Oh god! Like ugh. Been on toilet for weeks, boy. And my spirit's toilet oh. paper. 
15 million die luck. Oh my god. How, how many faces can you make with it? 16. Okay. Oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Alright, see you guys next time for more God of War. Alright then, bye. Bye.